Beetlejuice, a star that catches our eyes in the night sky, has an incredible story. Born in a vast cloud of gas and dust, it spent most of its life shining brightly, fueled by turning hydrogen into helium. But here's where it gets interesting. Beetlejuice, unlike other stars its size, decided to take a different path. Instead of gracefully aging into a red giant, it transformed into a colossal red supergiant. Now, let's talk about the drama unfolding on Betelgeuse's surface. Picture this. December 2019, the star suddenly starts to dim, becoming the talk of the town. By February 2020, it hit rock bottom in brightness, marking what we now call the Great Dimming of Betelgeuse. Though it eventually perked up, returning to its usual radiance, astronomers couldn't shake off the mystery. They aimed their most powerful telescopes at it, hungry for answers. What they saw was mind-blowing. The star's surface, once serene, now boils and shimmers with a cosmic magic trick. Betelgeuse is like a rare gem in the sky, catching the eyes of astronomers. It's not every day we get to see a star in its last stage of life without fancy equipment. This star is like a sneak peek into the wild ride that leads to one of the universe's most dramatic events, a supernova. Imagine, the last time we witnessed such fireworks in our galaxy was way back in 1604. So, when Betelgeuse acts up, everyone pays attention. As Betelgeuse started to fade, scientists began to wonder if it was gearing up for a stellar explosion. To dig deeper, they brought out the big guns, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, or ALMA for short. This powerful tool let them peek closely at the giant star. What they saw surprised them. Betelgeuse was spinning like a top, way faster than what they thought possible. It's like finding out your grandpa can still break dance. But why is Betelgeuse showing off this speedy spin? Could it be a clue to the fireworks about to happen? Just like how a supernova sets off a chain reaction in space, picking up a new language sets off fireworks in your brain. The first clue that something funky was happening with Betelgeuse came from Alma's map showing how fast its surface was moving. Think of it like a fancy speedometer for stars, showing if they're coming closer or zipping away. Half of Betelgeuse seemed to be rushing towards us, shown in blue, while the other half seemed to be jetting off, shown in red. This colorful map helped scientists figure out that Betelgeuse was spinning like a top. Now, here's where it gets juicy. Some folks think Betelgeuse's wild spin might be because it once had a buddy star. Yep, they believe Betelgeuse could have gobbled up a smaller star, like cosmic cannibalism. But hold your horses, there's no hard proof of this yet. Even if Betelgeuse went solo, its speedy spin is still raising eyebrows. Why? Because this star is a heavyweight champ. 15 times heavier than our sun and big enough to gobble up planets like snacks. And get this, it's not your ordinary star, it's a fiery red supergiant now. Stars, like Betelgeuse, usually slow down as they age and puff up. It's like when you spin a top slower and slower until it wobbles and stops. Plus, they lose some weight through stellar winds, which should put the brakes on their spin even more. Scientists expected Betelgeuse to spin lazily like a snail, but nope. It's whizzing around at a whopping 5 kilometers per second. That's like speeding 50 times faster than its supergiant pals. To crack the case of Betelgeuse's speedy spin, astronomers needed to be sure it wasn't just a mistake. They wondered if other stuff happening on the star's surface could be fooling them. So, they turned to ALMA, a super smart telescope made up of lots of antennas to dig deeper. ALMA's magic allowed astronomers to peek at Betelgeuse's outer layer where things get super hot. They wanted to see if the star's fast spin was actually something else, like a cosmic hot pot of swirling gas. Imagine, it's like when you stir soup, the hot bits rise and the cool bits sink. Well, stars do a similar dance, creating swirling patterns that can make it seem like they're spinning. The team thought maybe these swirling patterns were tricking us, making Betelgeuse look like it's spinning when it's not. Picture it like bubbles in boiling water, some popping up while others sink down. 
This movement could explain why some parts of the star seem to be coming closer to us, blue shifted, while others zoom away, red shifted. To put their theory to the test, the researchers built a computer model mimicking Betelgeuse minus the spin. They compared this model with real observations from ALMA, and guess what? The results matched up perfectly. It turns out, Betelgeuse isn't doing a fast spin. It's just bubbling away like a pot on the stove. This bubbling is so intense that even top-notch telescopes can't tell the difference. Betelgeuse keeps astronomers on their toes with its unpredictable antics. Remember the great dimming frenzy a few years back? Scientists scratched their heads until they figured out the star had a gas blowout, forming a dusty veil that briefly dimmed its sparkle from Earth. Then, in 2023, Betelgeuse pulled another stunt, suddenly shining 50% brighter. Everyone thought, supernova time. But hold the phone, further digging showed it was just a hangover from the great dimming. That dust and gas mess up messed with Betelgeuse's usual brightness routine, throwing its 400-day cycle out of whack and giving us a surprise light show. Guessing when Betelgeuse will pop is like playing cosmic roulette. Scientists need to figure out if it's burning helium or carbon to predict its boom time. And guess what? We've got front row seats just 550 light years away. When it blows, we'll likely get a hint from a flood of neutrinos, those tiny ghostly particles that go crazy during a supernova. Then boom, a light show so bright, you might need shades during the day for a couple of months. Now, here's the interesting part. If Betelgeuse goes supernova, it won't harm us, but it'll leave a cosmic mark. Betelgeuse is Orion's shoulder, and losing it would be like Orion missing a limb. But hey, that's the circle of stellar life for you. Now, you might wonder, can the James Webb Space Telescope give us a heads up on Betelgeuse's shenanigans? Nope. Even though Webb's a space powerhouse, it's not cut out for Betelgeuse. Why? Because that star is way too bright for Webb's delicate sensors. So, we'll just have to wait and watch Betelgeuse's drama unfold from afar. While the James Webb Space Telescope might not be the ultimate Betelgeuse watcher, the cosmic drama continues. Remember, there's always more to explore in the vast universe of space science. If you're enjoying this cosmic roller coaster ride, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for more mind blowing discoveries and cosmic adventures. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars and let's keep exploring the wonders of space together.